Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Record of the Lotus War. I'm a host of Game of Darius. Last we left off, I, uh, I considered doing a bunch of recording grinding in order to make it so as, you know, it's, uh, plausible to see just how much I did. Uh, I have decided against that because, holy crap, did I need to grind a lot in order to make it so as my durability is effectively maxed. So, I... Did that. It was a lot, a lot of money. Whole lot of money. Um, I think I already have body control. Yeah, that's body control in there. I think I wanted to transform it back into one of these. My only problem with these knight sets is that that little, uh, I think it's called a gorget, the neck protector bit, is always pink. So that's one of the reasons why, when I was grinding, I was actually going with this. Because, while it does look a little bit more drab, it doesn't have that little thing. And it also provides a little bit more defense. Uh, what is it I had on my sword? I literally just got out of... Oh, nothing's on my sword. Well, I should fix that. Uh, man of the flesh. All the HP. So you might be wondering, hey R, what are we doing this episode? We are going to uh, try to clear out pretty much all the other places. Try to clear out all the other places I had not yet done so. Um, pretty sure I've done all of the ones here, save for the Mithril Golem. And as far as I've seen, um, the various the various dungeons that are around the place cannot actually be reached until you get to these other until you get to the um, multi teleporter. <sighs> I keep on forgetting the chain of things how how I want to do things because I was gonna bring something else up before I had started shenanigans ba, 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 da, ba, ba. just waiting for the thing and I doubly doubly looked into it making sure that there was no other possible place for me to grab uh, my precious boots that I'll never see again I will never see those boots again sadly alright so what I want to do really quickly before I actually start delving into these dungeons is head back um, into the cemetery where we had initially been reincarnated because remember a long while ago we had that one goblin who was all like hey you want to check out what's in that place and we did but we never returned to him so, what we're going to do is talk to him and be all like, hey, here's the thing. Oh, hello. All right. That's a monument. Was it this one? No, that was how I got out of here. It's been a hot while since I've been here, so you'll have to pardon the confusion. All right. So, yeah. This is fine. Not all that worried about these guys, and I don't even really need to teleport back. Alright. Nobby heard that Sir killed the Goblin Commander and took over the, the fortress. Sir is a great warrior after all. What can Nobby do for you today? Thank you for helping me find the secret passageway. Don't mention it, Sir. Glad to be of service. Uh... How's the ground keeping trade these days? Not bad, but if Sir doesn't mind me asking, what brings the Great Warrior back to these parts? I'm bored looking for something to do. Bored? Great Warrior and Nobby's home bored to tears? Can't have that, Sir. No, we can't. How about I tell you a story, Sir? A Marmor legend. Sure, why not? Many years ago, before the reign of Emperor Beld, an evil green dragon came to the shores of Marmo and start, started rampaging. 
Since Marmo's own dragon, Nars, had fallen into a 100 year sleep, there was no one on the island powerful enough to oppose the dragon. For 10 years, the dragon de terrorized Marmo until finally a lone warrior appeared who stood against the dragon and his servants. After an epic battle, the warrior tricked the dragon and caged him inside an enchanted prison of all for all eternity. To this day, no one knows who the warrior was, but some say it wasn't a man at all, but a creature created by the magic of the Dark Elves. So what does Sir think of Navi's story? Is it true? Nobody know does Nobby does not know, sir. But legend has it that the keys to the dragon's prison are hidden in dungeons all around Marmo. Oh. Oh. See you later, sir. Hmm. Not right now. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And that actually opens up, um, what it is that What's-Her-Face really wants with the medallions. See, I had seen that you come back to Nobby after retrieving one of the medallions. Show it to him and be all like, hey, medallion. And he was all like, Bwah! and then a thing will pop up over here. But I think we've already, we might have already collected the thing. The thing being a uh, inscription, by the way. Were any of these actually? No, that's right. That was the tutorial one. And we can head back into t into the Goblin Fortress. Well, I don't know if I missed out on one or if I literally just already have picked up that one or if it reassigned the thing, I don't know. The, the inscription things are weird. Wait. Oh, okay. I gotta go back to the thing. That's fine. But yeah, the... Honestly, the whole inscription system is a little weird. On the one hand, I do like it. Because it's pretty much, you know, rewarding you for actually leveling up your shit and exploring and whatnot. But if... But on the other hand, if you level up your stuff... Yep, there's that one. There's that one. There's that one. If you level up your stuff, then it's just kind of like, well... Oh. Tenacious Firmness. Hmm. Part of me wants to teleport back. Just to see what this tenacious firmness is. Giggity. Yeah, teleport over here. Is this the one? Because one of the reasons I want to do these other dungeons first is because... Because I don't have those boots, I want the inscriptions. Alright, there's tenacious the furnace. Double durability. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> all the durability. Logistically, I could probably put on the other armor so I can have high ass defense as well again, but I don't know exactly how the durability works. It feels like it works a lot like um What's a Medusa from Dark Souls? But if you end up getting punched a bazillion times by each of these guys, it's like, oh hey, bad times, Bill. Or maybe these guys just innately have a high enough impact to knock you off your feet anyways. Ah. Dang it. Oh, come on. At least get me one swing in. I got a feeling I'm not going to be able to handle this particular dude. Okay. So these do each have... That's what these are. That's cool. Alright. Time to delve the Mithril Golem. Kinda hoping things are good. Alright. How much pain's coming my way? 
a lot of it, apparently. I doubled my freaking durability. I'm still getting... I'm getting dicked. Just gonna... I'm not gonna lie, that honestly pisses me off. I doubled my freaking durability, what the hell? Wait, ruins? Am I in the right place? Okay. <sighs> well... That changes my tactics against these things significantly, then. I need to figure out what it is that they're weak against. Pardon me would say lightning. What type of weapon shall I forget? You need to be looking for a magic spell. I yeah, that honestly weapon. does tick me off quite a bit. Uh lightning bolts. Because my durability is in the thousands, I would think that... No, frickin'. Just frickin'. Or maybe I do need to change to a better suit of armor, I don't frickin' know. Yeah, but that has the most durability out of all the armors. You know what, fine, we'll change this suit. I did change my cloak, by the way, mostly because I just wanted to. Annoying as balls, man. Annoying as balls. Hmm. Maybe Golems just have an innate ability to make it so as your life's a living hell. So you pretty much have to... Stay away from them and blast them with lightning or whatever. Whatever it is that they're weak against. I better test this out here before anything. Die. Okay. So part of me is assuming that that is useless. Sure. Yep. Uh, I won't lie, this is annoying as all balls. I get to the next place that has... What I, and as far as I know, I'm as high as I possibly can be when it comes to my durability. All right, so not lightning. Actually, do I have? I do have Golem Buster, and I could grind. <sighs> By the way, I don't know if I covered this last episode, but I did figure out how stupid I was. I couldn't use these ones because they take up all of the rune slots, and my current Gob Chopper uh, has all but one rune slot available. Kills goblins, kills elves. Humanoids. Part of me is just assuming that since they're like golems and whatnot that they're weak against electricity, which... Nah. Apparently they're not, or maybe they are. No, they are very much not weak against electricity. That's a fun old nail in the coffin right there for that. I deal one damage to them. Great. I feel like I've made no progress this episode so far. And that would be because I have not. 
So if I put fire in... Yeah, each of these are going to... In well, except for this one. Increase the damage that they deal. So we'll just go with the Sword of Fire. <clears throat> A smarter me would go one-handed. But... A smarter me is not playing. Excuse me. Okay. Sure. I love my reach. I... Mm. I really doubt my chances in this dungeon. I should check out another one for the time being. What else was there? Paddle Queen? Yeah, let's go check out the Paddle Queen. Where does that one sounds? Oh god, don't be another Medusa. Paddle Queen. Paddle. Water. Water equal magic. Oh boy. I'm scanning around the area for seeing if there's anything inscriptions wise or even treasure wise. Doesn't seem to be immediately. Oh, please don't be a fire base. I really don't want to have to return again. Dungeon of the Paddle Queen. Still such a weird title. Hello? Um, is it just me or is this place... Strangely nice looking. Alright. Money. I, sirs. Rude. Dungeon of the Paddle Queen. I don't know what the hell this place is going to be all about. Besides weird. Honestly, part of me really wants to go back and get that absorption ability. The vampiric one. Hey. Stop that. Alright. See how much I'm gonna hate myself here. Orb. 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 Traps. I think that was the most swings in one one kill swing I think I've made the entire game so far. I might stand corrected. Why am I bothering killing these guys? It's quite clear that this amphibious looking... Ow. Right, not the right tool for the job. Clearly resistant to fire. Which I suppose is fine. Just annoying because loading screens are a thing. Uh, lightning? Lightning seems like it makes sense. She's made of water. What type of gale? Or I could just get the vampiric sword ability. Then Peter's Dusk. Yeah, alright. Won't do anywhere near as much damage, but... At the least, survivability would be better. If I was really thinking about it, I would just... <clears throat> excuse me. I would just use, um... Whatever it is that increases my max HP. That's on my helmet, though. 
I don't think I need to. Nope. There we go. I just need to keep my distance a little bit. Because she will go magic-y on me and kick my ass. Oh, she splits up into smaller forms. That's none too reassuring. All right. This is actually one of the more interesting fights I've had this entire game so far. And it's over. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hope the inscription's good. Lock. Ooh, we got magic. Teach the magic of illusion. Mirror and ghost. Oh! Is this like some sort of recon ability? So if I don't know what's in an area, I can plop this down. Be like, hey. Neat. Elemental Buster. Wait, Elemental Buster as in additional damage against elementals? I'm all for that. Really, I should really pump up my Golem Buster ability because... Turns out we're going to be fighting a lot of Golems. Alright, that's back to... The Mithril Golem spot. Which is just over there. What was down here? High Imp Goblin Master. I think I have the thing for killing a Goblin Master. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, insta-killing the Goblin, I mean. Now, is there a fast way to get there from here? Or do I have to teleport to... Phantom, Medusa, Goblin Master. We'll use this one for the time being. This is making hunt these hunting these guys down so much easier and faster. I say, knowing that the Mithril Golem is still going to be a giant pain in the ass. Oh, okay. Hold up. I, I want to say before jumping into a yet another dungeon fight. As far as I know, these dungeon fights are almost completely and totally optional. It's just, I like dungeon delving. I like hunting down the monsters and, you know, all that jazz. So I want to at least destroy the Goblin Master. I think... How cheesy would it be? Because he is the Goblin Master. And I think I have the Goblin Slayer ability. <clears throat> is that cheesy or just a smart use of abilities? You need to be looking for a magic spell to be forged into the uh, Golem, Elemental... Or did I? Nope, here it is. Yeah. I, I want to see if this works. Because if this does work, then huzzah. I do think I need to go back to the worm place, though, and just grind the ever loving crap out of them. Blech. I'm not sure if the, the tall ones count as goblins. It's, my, it's one of my only... Eh, about this idea. Well, they're doing a grand total of one damage. So I'm going to assume that the Goblin Master is the real threat here. I mean, I'm taking pretty decent damage against most of these things, but hey. 
And this is one of the reasons why I got so many picks. Okay, I'm making a lot of money. Hey, you level up. I haven't actually had one of those in a while. So these guys are doing damage. So I gotta watch out for that. I think when I... Ow. Oh. I think when I inevitably return to the Goblin Fort, I'm going to invest in some good old golem slaying stuff. Excuse me. Have I been lied to? Is whatever master that there is really this golem? I think whatever master that they have here is actually this golem. Um, I'm gonna look around a little bit. Well, it wasn't that chump. I've been lied to. I believe I've been lied to. Jerks. Okay, I was about to say, it was like, is there nothing here? I mean, that wasn't too shabby of a fight, but still. One medallion. Rockbuster. And I need to come back here with picks. So that I can pick the last of the treasure here. Although, I did make a lot of money. Made a lot of money here. I want to test something as I go out here, though. Really quickly. Because I have the Goblin Killer. I just want to make sure... My theory is correct. Can I make sure that... Yep. Okay. My theory was not correct. Ow. For some reason, I thought that those schmucks... The ones that I just, you know, plowed out through were also goblins. <clears throat> Not the case. Alright. Wasn't so shabby so far. I took out something called the Puddle Queen. P sorry, Paddle Queen. Oh. Was that a mistranslation? What type of weapon shall I forge? That might have been a mistranslation. Because her, the name on the thing was Paddle Queen, but she was a puddle. Okay, I think that was some translator's uh, problem. I'm just gonna dive back in really quickly here for some mithril. Rockbuster. That's. Uh, Rockbuster has me a little bit annoyed now that I think about the name because there is there's golems and then there's what appears to be like rocky golems so I don't know if there's an actual difference between those two or if I'm just you know putting some sort of worry in there when there shouldn't be any well not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'll I'll look at what it is exactly that it does, but um, save for no. I already which other dragon guardians did I already collect? There's the high imp, and the mithril golem that reside here still. And then I th think I've already collected that. Dragon Guardian's item, which was the shield. Alright, just quick look. What type of weapon? Yeah, you need to be looking for a magic spell. Yeah, because there's the Golem Buster. Rock Buster. 
doubles the multiplication of damage inflicted when critical hits. I'm sorry? Yeah, all right. Oh! You need to be looking for a yeah, right. Oh! Yeah, that doubles the critical yeah, damage. Right. That is ridiculous. So it goes from 1.6 yeah. to 3.2. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good to know. To um, golden busters. I want to pump as much of these into this thing as possible. Because my next target, I want to make the mithril golem. And if I can slay the mithril golem super fast, that'd be great. Oh, I wonder how many words I can pump into this. At least 30-ish. With how much mithril I have. Yeah, 30 will be a good amount. I, I like to think. Pretty much just pour all of my money into it. Because again, I can always grind. But I don't want to do the grinding on a camera anymore because that I feel like at this point, um, the amount of grinding I have to do for any of these effects is a little bit much. So it's just 10 minutes of me speeding up time in order to do the thing. I think I only have enough for one more after this. Yep. 25, so 25 times 3, that's 75% more damage to golems. Uh, I'm super tempted to put on the Rockbuster. Oh, I'm... Frick. Hold up. Uh, do we have just a little bit out here? Oh, I'm doing damage to myself with this sword. Even when I attack stuff. That's great. Game. I, I only... I only need like 15 mithril. Do I have anything I can... What would you get, rid of, get rid of? Get rid of... Or at the least, just transform it into a sword that doesn't kill me. Wait. I'm just realizing something here. This is a three times... Oh. Never mind. Because ah, Rockbuster. That's a nine. So I would need to use it... With one of these... This is Vihander. Rate of critical doubles. You need to be look yeah. Oh, six times damage. At six thousand possible damage until I get the weapon I need back. Anyways, <coughs> needs a strong word, but still. I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, uh, we're gonna do some more dungeon delving. Maybe I'll go back to Malera and see what it is that she'll give me now. But I am going to take Pyrotus' advice and return all but one for the time being. Because based on what uh, Gabi had said back in the other fortress there, in the cemetery, I don't necessarily want to be giving her all of the medallions just yet, because that might do something with a green dragon. Which, I'm tempted. Sorely tempted. But, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.